In this video, we will learn that how we can analyze cryptocurrencies in Power BI. And uh, we will use a new feature in Power BI that is Sparkline. So let's proceed. I had already downloaded the cryptocurrencies data. Here you can see these are different uh, coins. So they are total 23. So our first task will be we need to combine all these coins. Uh, as you can see that uh, here the size for each coin is different depending on the number of rows available. But the column structure is, is exactly the same in all the coins. So we need to append these files. And for the appending purpose, the number of columns and the type of the column should be same. So let's proceed. First we need to copy this path. And uh, then we have to click get data more because we have multiple files in a folder so we have to choose here file and folder this one connect and uh, you can go via browse or either you can paste the the path to the files click ok so here you can see we have uh, different columns here the first is the content that is binary and then the name of the files so these are the different uh, coins and the type is uh, csv and some other uh, metadata so for this we have to click here here you can see the drop down icon so click here in the right corner and we have two options so we need to click here combine and transform data So here you can see, we have serial number, name, uh, symbol, and uh, high, low, open, close, and all the other columns. So every value is separated by comma. So that looks good. And uh, we have to click OK. So here you can see, the first column is the source name, and the serial number, name, and the, all the other columns, right? If you, if you want to format these values, you have to go to the Power Query Editor, just clicking here the transform data and uh, the first option and then you you can change the data type or the any any stuff uh, that you want to do okay so here we have to in their report we need to take like uh, the closing value of the coins this one and uh, we can take for example table and uh, the second column that we need symbol this one so let me increase the size so here you can see these are the different coins and their value the closing value and we can take uh, the value like uh, um, average so these are the average value for every coin. Now we see the trend of these closing values over time. So for this purpose, we need to add spark line. To add the spark line, you have to click uh, this drop down and uh, add spark line, this one. So here you can see the on the y axis we have the value close and on the x axis we need to choose time. So we can take uh, date this one create this is the trend that uh, you can see over time and uh, if you go to the format under under spark lines so here you can see we have uh, different uh, options here like uh, the if you want to change the color and uh, the stroke width and for example if we say okay we want to see the highest value uh, in this uh, trend line so for this we have to click here highest and we can also change the the color for example to, to red so here you can see these are the points where the closing value was very high and you can also choose like lowest or first or anything depending on your requirement 
So these are the features for the uh, spark line. And one more thing is uh, you can change here the chart type. For example, chart type to column. So here you can see, you can also change the, the chart type uh, depending on your requirements. So in this video, we have learned that how to combine multiple files in a folder and uh, how to use the Spark line over time. I will put the link in the description where you can find all the available files that we have used in this video. So if you like this video, please subscribe our channel. And if you have any question, please write in the comment section. Thank you.